Hey guys, welcome back to another haul. Uh, if you remember in the last video, we mentioned that this was part two, not really part two of a video, but <laughs> Kathy went to three Ben's trips and this is like part the, the second, I'm just making it more difficult than it is. This is a Ben's trip. Kathy went and got some stuff. <laughs> That's pretty much the basics of any Ben's haul. <laughs> Uh, we will be adding it to yeah. the uh, Uptown Cheatscape. Uh, what's this other one? Plato's Closet. <laughs> and then Not Once Upon a Child. <laughs> I'll get it one day. Yeah. Oops. And we still have some stuff here that she'll be adding to from last video. If you didn't watch that one, go watch that one. I explained it much more gracefully. <laughs> even, <laughs> <little> more <laughs> even though it wasn't graceful at all. So check that one out. We do have the supervisor here. We'll see how he does. He seems like he's just like, we're bothering him. Hi. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this one. I should have went to the bin, but I did. <laughs> it was a day that I should have been like doing work like listings. Oh, the procrastination like, hall. I'm kind of bored of doing listings. I'm gonna go to the bins and I did. And then I got all this. <laughs> I feel like I found, I, I don't know if I found anything amazing. I found one pretty cool piece. Uh, I went for, I think this was about three hours. I spent $108, but this was the one with the vacuum, which is not here. Yeah. That was $12 out of the So 95 bucks or so. Which we should be able to get yeah. that or more out. It's just going to be a little bit of work. Put it on local Facebook and be like, doesn't work, 12 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so that I can have my money back. Uh, <laughs> these are just for our kid, I think. Just some Sam's Club joggers. Uh, I don't know this brand. It seems like maybe like a Instagram type thing. Smith, Smith baby? baby. But they say one size. But they seem fun, you know what I mean? I feel like that might be... I tried to look it up and I wasn't finding any comps, but I was like with this like checkered plaid and little smiley. It was yeah. like giving me like Aviator Nation yeah. vibes or something. Yeah, like so. Supreme or like some it kind of... Really, like it's a nice quality. It's thick. They got the elastic. It so. kind of reminds me of that Cactus Garden, whatever that... Remember that whole McDonald's toy thing with the weird oh, toys? Oh, right, right, yeah. The, I don't remember what it was called, but yeah. it, it's <laughs> reminding me of that. Some weird, yeah. obscure thing. So, I mean, I feel like this... I don't know. It says one size, so I don't know that I still trade to take it, but I feel like this is the kind of style that yeah. I like. So we'll try it there. I'm gonna look it up one more time, make sure these aren't like a hundred dollar pair of pants or something, but <laughs> yeah. I don't think they are. So yeah, Aviator Nation, these would be a hundred dollar pair of pants. Right. We'll see about those. Um, these are cool. Some more cool pants. Women's high. I think that this is how they're supposed to be. I was having a hard time figuring them out. So I got them, obviously, because they were at the bins. But yeah, I don't know if somebody like cut them. Are they supposed to be like, cuffed up or is that? Out. Right, because you can tell they were for a while. Yeah. I wonder but if that's almost, how they're supposed to be. What? Just, just like that. Right. But if they're meant to be frayed or not. Yeah. Anyways, I mean, they seemed otherwise in good shape. So I did get them. So I'll check into those cool pants always yeah. a good <laughs> bolo i'm sure uh, these are women's but i'm sure it's still like 30 assuming that's how they were meant to be uh, these are for once upon a child rachel zoe little dress this is just a target hoodie for them uh this is cool also but it has one tiny little just like that yeah. i don't know if we can like pull it back through or just maybe cut it i don't know is that a thread it's just a thread. We could probably pull it through the other side. Yeah. So otherwise, this seemed to be in good shape. I've sold, well, the one I sold was like that ALF, which is like, I think, older cool. Do you remember? Mm. It was yeah. like a red version of this. That sold for, I want to say, close to 30 bucks. So I don't think Bicel Trade would take that. I'm going to push that. Yeah, sometimes you could pull that thread through the, the inside and then singe it if it's like a yeah. synthetic. If it's cotton, it'll just burn. <laughs> so be careful. Don't burn your house down. <laughs> Uh, this is a torrid skirt. I don't quite know how the belt is supposed to be. It's like all funky right now, but <laughs> I'll figure that out and maybe my sell trade will take it. Otherwise, I'll list it for probably 20 bucks or so. This, I, I don't know. This little thing made me think vintage. I don't know what, like, this bag was just interesting to me. And at the bins, I'm like, if it interests me, I'm going to put it in my cart. Check yeah. it out. Um, it's funny because I, well, I was looking at comps on eBay and I showed one on my Instagram, but I'm pretty sure I spelled it all the way wrong because oh. <laughs> I found a good comp though. A similar one of this was sold for like 60 bucks, like a black color though. 
But then when I noticed what the word was, I still don't know what it actually Let's is. Let's see. Um, Crampler. Right. So I put C H C R H. Crampler. <laughs> right. I, I still don't know what it is. <laughs> but then when I typed it in, once I saw what the other person said, I typed on it, and then that because there was only a few listings that I could tell probably because I was spelling it wrong. Yeah. And then there was more listings when I wasn't spelling it wrong. But then those were a little bit lower comps. But I did see a comp of this in a black for sixty bucks. Huh. I don't know. I think it's vintage. I don't know. So that might be a decent little flip. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and I noticed it has a lot of that Velcro on the front. We do have a little brush oh, to. Right, right, right. To scrub all that off if you guys yeah. check the uh, mm-hmm. links in the description. Yeah. It'll make quick work of that for I us. I just bought this to try on for myself. I don't know, it just looks like a cheapy brand. Good for holiday color though. I think I wanted to try these on too. Just some Walmart pull on pants. I like pull on pants. This is Gap, just a. She's throwing them on that bag if you're wondering <laughs> what that noise was. Uh, new it tag Gap scarf. It's so soft. I don't think by I don't know if by sell trade take scarves. They probably would not take this one. It's very soft though. My kids might want it. They have scarf day at school sometimes. Yeah. And I'm always like rushing to find them one randomly. So <laughs> we'll try it there. If they don't take it, my kids can have that. <laughs> Here's your your robe <laughs> belt. <laughs> uh, this is Gap Kids. If this was a little smaller, I'd keep it for Connor, but it's a size 14, so that'd be a lot to fit it. Yeah. These are, I guess I just bought everything for myself today. <laughs> These are actually men's, but I'm gonna wear them for holidays. Just some GMA pants. Uh, this is Old Navy. I, don't, I was maybe gonna try this on. I don't think it's gonna fit me, but if it doesn't, I'll list it or sell it if I still trade. Uh, these are Levi's. This isn't like the nice Levi's or anything, but these seem like almost like new. So I got them and they were not skinny. They are boot cut, perfectly slimming boot cut. But they're more so, modern. Yeah. Not even that they're modern. These, I just feel like this is like a cheaper yeah. like Kohl's or Walmart Levi's or something. Yeah. It's I, funny how I, I could tell just from, from here that it just seems. But I'm sure I could sell them for 15 bucks on eBay still. So they're nice. I mean, it's a nice pants still. Uh, these are just some men's. Basic Nike shorts. They took most of my Nike shorts at the buy sell trade. We'll try it. I think I was gonna try this on. What is it? Lauren Rob Lauren. I love these super soft heels. Yeah. Do you do? I do. This one's not even soft. Like that one's <laughs> so soft. Right. It is flannel season. He okay. keeps startling this guy. Sorry, it's okay. Nothing's Sorry, happening. Bubba. Uh, these are American Eagle baggy jeans. So I might list these on my own, actually. Oh, they're 6'4". We'll see. I might lift these up because if I know baggy is more of a current style, then I can... If I can get, like, close to 30 bucks, I would list these on my own. I'm positive that ones, or Plato's would take them. Reese, we're filming here. <laughs> um, this has a gross stain on it, but otherwise seems like I'm positive that'll come out easily. Yeah. And otherwise it's a nice Duluth um, fleece pullover. I think it's men's, but I'd probably list this on my own. I need to wash it, so I'll just put it down here. Uh, I just saw it before we started recording and I didn't accept it yet because I don't know if I should. Oh, you have a pending offer? Well, I have a Duluth shacket that it's like a plaid new at tag men's jacket uh-huh she'll reach over like 80 or 90 bucks and it's new new it's egg yeah i got it from play-doh's the other day for 10 i didn't use credit i just bought it for 10 they're offering 38 Ooh. so i make 30 on polish that's a little so tempting 20 dollar profit and a fast sale and it's on our hanging rack at storage so i get a hanger back <laughs> <laughs> but i think it's worth like 50 to 60 yeah because it's new yeah so I'll probably accept that. We're done with the video. <laughs> Let us know what you would do yeah. in the comments below, and we'll see. Right. Follow Kathy on Instagram. Just have a hard time like holding stuff out, holding on, especially if I'm making twenty bucks profit. Right. Yeah. So this is Nautica. I actually was gonna. I don't think it's gonna fit. I was gonna try this on. I feel like it'd be cute over like a little um, plaid shirt or something. <laughs> the collar sticking out. I don't know. <laughs> um. This is. Ireland's eye, Ireland's eye. It's just like a wool poncho. What do you call that? That's a poncho, right? 
Yeah, or like a shawl maybe yeah. or something. So, Shoulder warmer. It's 100% wool. I'll list that on my own. Probably 30 or so. Oh, this is so much wool. Yeah. It's like a little 90 shirt. I feel like Soma sells pretty decently. I'd have to list that on my own. Probably not for like uh, 15, kind of 15. These are kids. Some rain pants? Rain pants, yeah. So I'm debating. I've sold these many times for like 20 bucks. They usually sell really fast, but I don't like listing them. So I'm probably gonna take them to once in a while child, but only get a few dollars for them. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like listing them. Like they're wrinkled. Yeah. I feel like they always have like the tiniest little, I just don't like describing flaws. Black stuff to photograph is hard. Yeah. This is just a Target onesie. This is a women's Duluth. It's like a rain jacket or something. Yeah, it's a... I might want to try this on. I kind of like it. What is that fabric? Yeah, it's spandex. It's almost like it would be the perfect fishing shirt material. Polyester spandex. Yeah. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, it does feel like like a nice PFG type shirt. Yeah. So. I will probably list that on my own. 30, I want to say 30. Okay. This is Jimbery. I was going to take to Once Upon a Child. I did notice it had like a little pull though. So might need to pull that through before we take it. Um, this is just a Walmart shirt. And I was going to take that to Once Upon a Child, but I think Connor would fit it right now. And it's a holiday plaid. So. Yeah. It's have to green. Take that once or twice and then take it there. Um, these are Duluth Trading Co. Just the black denim. So I don't think Bicel Trade will take, but I, I just bring them everything and then bring it back <laughs> and then list it myself. <laughs> I think I can get 20 to 25 on those on my own. Had some Patagonia. Ooh. Oh, big hole. Found a big <laughs> hole yeah. you didn't see. Oh, yeah. It's funny yeah. because I literally looked it over. Ooh, how'd you miss that? I don't know. I did because oh my I, goodness look at that I thing it's <laughs> funny because I was like this oh it looks good this is how I like look <laughs> I must have not seen that I must have been like this <laughs> or I must have just been blinded by this little logo right the here. logo <laughs> womp womp I don't know yeah because like I feel like all the trade-in things they have to be in good shape yeah I don't know we'll figure out we'll figure something out <laughs> what um, would you guys do in that case yeah. Write it off, probably. Just list it. Like, obviously, I've sold some really bad Patagonia for still some money. Yeah. Um, this is Old Navy, a little cardigan for once upon a child. For real. Somebody could put a figure out some kind of cool patch for under there and, and make it, you know, unique and custom to them and yeah. cheap. Yeah. Uh, these are little Carter onesies for once upon a child. This is long champ, but I don't know if it's real <laughs> i don't know what is I it i feel like long champ is expensive but long it's... champ so it's like a jockey kind of thing okay i mean i feel like their purses are expensive but no but we'll make a bag so i'll list it but i don't know for how much yeah uh this is carter's for once upon a child uh target for once upon a child carter's once upon a child Old Navy for Once Upon a Child. These are carved designs. So I found those shorts in the last haul. These is a pair of jeans. I've never sold a pair of jeans before, but I did look them up because they're kind of, I don't think they're in bad shape. I'm going to wash them just to like make them less wrinkly, hopefully. Yeah. But uh, I think I can get around $30 for these. So I'm going to list these on my own. Okay. And then I have this bag, which is mostly shoes. Us. <laughs> I love how I found so many. Every time I find a pillow, I see This was probably the coolest thing I found. Um, guess what it is? Oh, I, have to <laughs> I know what it is. Yeah. You Do can you show guys know everybody. What it is? <laughs> Burberry. Yeah. And if Burberry's. you didn't know, vintage Burberry has the S on the end. So I put a poll in my Instagram just mostly to see like what other people would say because yeah. I know a lot of people don't know about the S thing. Most people said yes. It's. I just said, do we think this is real? Like I already, pretty much 100% know that it is. Yeah. Um, but Ooh, yeah, only wow. a handful of people said no. So. Yeah. Most people seem like they know that by now. But yeah. Uh, it's not in great shape. I, I think it's a scarf. Do you think it's a scarf? Don't say it's a kilt. Don't <laughs> say it's a kilt. It's not a kilt. It's a baby's Nothing kilt. Nothing I've it's ever a... found has been a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
Yes, it's a scarf. Okay, that's so fun, right? <laughs> what, else? what else would it be, though? <laughs> Could it be a little blanket, or you think it's a scarf? <laughs> Uh, a tablecloth? I don't know. What else could it be? It does seem like someone washed it and it's like not. Great, yeah. But it does look very, it looks old. <laughs> like, yeah. and so I can't really figure out. Oh, I mean, I know it says this, but I don't know that that's when it's from. Do you think? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it does look really old. <laughs> I think we can probably look up the pictures and yeah. compare. Like, Burberry's is like one of the, like, there's different eras of yeah. of uh, logo and stuff so we can go and see and try to date it if anybody has any tips i guess let us know but we'll have to go through and do the google the google foo the, <laughs> the googles uh these i just got i liked them and i like even if we end up keeping them but these are vintage towels i, I just know from following other people that sometimes vintage linens and stuff can do well so yeah. I just looked up Fieldcrest Vintage USA made towels. Some sets were selling for like 40 bucks for two, so I, I didn't see this exact pattern or print or whatever, but I don't know, maybe 20 to $40 for two old towels. I mean, they're not in bad shape. Why are you laughing? I'm just <laughs> <He's this>. laughing. <laughs> you think it's a silly thing to pick No. Up. Um, what do you think? I'm still laughing that you thought that I was going to say that that was a <laughs> kilt. Because you were. You I were totally was. <laughs> Uh, someone else these, but yeah, just some cute little towel. Uh, and then I, yeah, I think the rest of shoes, so, um, it's a lot of shoes, but it's also a lot of kid shoes that are not very big, so. These are Skechers. These will probably sell for 25 to 30. I'll just leave them here, because this is our last haul for today. Yeah. Uh, these are Patagonia shoes. Um, not in great shape, but if you've been here a while, I mentioned that Patagonia does not make shoes anymore, so usually the ones that are still out there can sell for a good amount, regardless of like condition. Like yeah. these aren't great. I've sold way worse condition. These are women's. The men's ones I've sold have been like 40 bucks, even like tore up almost, but yeah, uh, at least 20, I'd say. Probably 30 on those. Okay. What else we got? These are Seychelles. I never know if I'm saying that right. Seychelles? Made in Italy, just like a leather flip-flop. Yeah, I was like, are these not leather? They are leather upper. Okay. Okay. Authentic um, leather? Yeah, I don't think those are gonna go for a lot. Maybe 15 to 20. These are just a Walmart slide sandal. New, but New. they're super dirty. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I'm, I just got these for once upon a child, even though they're women's size, I'm pretty sure they'll take those. Okay. Little water shoes for Once Upon a Child. These all the on my own are Once Upon a Child. Doesn't take cleats. I know others do because I've been traveling and they have cleats at some of them, but yeah. ours doesn't. And these usually sell 15 to 20 for me. Okay. Um, Corral kids toddler boots. So I like selling these. I usually get 20 to 30, but uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. The other day I was like wiping around here, but they seem okay. I'll list these then. They're yeah. just, just dirty, which is fine. Uh, so at least 20 probably on those. Some Ariat boots, a little bit worn, but treads are good. Um, so just the insides are good. So it's just mainly the leather. Could use a little conditioning. Some boot cream. Um, so probably 30 to 50 or so I would say. These are Crocs camo, but they're a little bit worn on the toes. So I'm gonna take those to Once Upon a Child. If they don't take them, I can at least get 10 bucks, I'm sure. Some Robies for them. Um, see, these are bogs, which I love selling bogs, but these are kind of in bad shape. Mm -hmm. Not like horrible. When I say bad shape, like they're perfectly usable. It's just not something I want to list. Yeah. Um, yeah. But they're toddler five too, so I think I'm gonna take them to them. They've been selling bogs there for like 16 bucks, so I'd probably get like four or five bucks for those. Okay. Uh, these are naturalizer. I just got them because they were in really good shape. Probably 20 or so out of those. These I just got because they were new. Looks like Goodwill was charging 16. I don't know that I've ever sold this brand. It's just Nun Nun Bush. Nun Bush. Which, yeah, that's funny. On the bottom it says $10, but that said $16. So <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, they're like a cute little style men's little. Almost like a, a Chelsea boot, but like they're not leather. <laughs> I've only yeah. ever seen Chelsea boots in leather. I'm sure I can get at least 30 bucks for those, just being leather. They almost now. look like a water proof. Yeah. Some kind of water something. So, 
They look nice. Yeah. Some water shoes for Once Upon a Child. Um, these are Target kids. I bought them for Once Upon a Child, but like if they don't take them, I, our kid can wear those. Uh, these, this is my first time finding Hoka slides. Wow. Um, yeah, I was worried that they're they have like a little, you know what I mean, like a little bit. Oh, a slight deform deformity. <laughs> I should have checked before I left the bins, but I was trying to get that day. I think they're fine. It's just needed a foot in them. They seem to be fitting the right size that they are. So, yeah, sometimes like these rubber type shoes, like will sh like if someone tries to wash them, they'll shrink a little. Yeah. So never heat a yeah. shoe like this and that, don't leave them in the sun. That could yeah, be another thing. Native Crocs and things like, like that. Like you leave them in the back seat of your car and the sun gets in there and it'll warp them. Crocs, yeah, natives, all those those foamy shoes. Got to be careful. I want to say 30, but I've never sold the slides, so we'll see. Sweet. Uh, these are Ufos. They're in kind of bad shape, mostly that it's cracking on this pink, but the treads were good. So I still got them. I mean, these weigh like eight ounces, so. I probably paid around a dollar for them. I'm sure I can get at least 20. You know, these in good shape still go over 30. Um, these are blowfish. In really good shape, but then they like have some weird, I don't know, just like when the glue starts peeking out in places. Yeah. So I'm sure I can still get 20 otherwise, but yeah. I, like I feel them. like that's just how they are. Yeah. When you're trying to glue fabric like that, yeah. manufacturer wise. Um, got some rifle paper coke heads, but they are missing their insoles, so. Hmm. They otherwise look in really good shape, so. I mean, someone can add some insoles. I wish they were my size. They're not, they're seven. <laughs> I would keep them. Those are cute. Cute. Um, I just got these in case. It's kind of like basically the same as a yeah. hook, right? I'm sure we can always Monkey use hooks. some of those. Yeah. <laughs> As seen on TV, yeah, we have a whole bunch of those. My brother used to actually sell on eBay, and he would get a lot of the as seen on TV stuff and sell it. Nice. <laughs> Hercules hooks was the one, one of his. Uh, this is a Disney Lounge fly, so it's missing. I assume a strap here. Mm. I mean, but it can still be used as a wallet, and if you have any random strap, you can probably add it. I mean, it's in decent shape, a tiny bit of wear on the edges, which is how wallets get. But a Disney lounge fly while at the bins, it's gotta be worth something, right? Yeah. You're saying it's oh, Moana? I think it's Moana, right? I've never watched Moana. I feel like the, the chicken thing is, it, I'm, I remember that, but I don't remember that. Pig. But then again, <laughs> I think I've seen Moana once, like whenever it came out with the kids. We might go see, what is the new one right now? Wish or something <laughs> for Thanksgiving with them. Yeah. Yeah. Has anyone seen that one? <laughs> <laughs> By the time you guys see this video, we will have seen it or not seen it. Or not seen it. <laughs> yeah. uh, little Carter shoes for Once Upon a Child. Uh, Walmart shoes for Once Upon a Child. Target shoes for Once Upon a Child. What else? So got more UFOs. These are a slide. A little bit worn at the toes. Probably, again, yeah, like still at least skin. 20 bucks, though. So. Snakeskin pattern look. Got some... Uh, Adidas wrestling shoes, tiny bit of wear at the toes, but these are still at least 20 bucks. I'll always pick these up at the yeah. for sure. I mean, they look in good shape. Yeah, the other for wrestling shoes. Good shape. Yeah, people expect the toes. You got actually these ones too. These ones are worn like around here, but I sold a pair from the bins recently, probably in worse shape for 20 bucks. So, yeah, that's that. And um, we got some bobs. They were charging oh, only 10 bucks, which is still kind of a lot for bobs at the regular Goodwill. Um, I can probably get around 20 out of those. Um, these little old navy from Once Upon a Child. These weigh nothing and they're gonna <laughs> give me like $1.50 for them. <laughs> so small. Yeah, and these are children's please. I don't know what these are. Oh, these are just little Walmart ones. Um, little Carter's water shoes. <laughs> And this was actually a pretty good find. These are Mephisto, but like a fisherman sandal in oh, really nice. good shape. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't think anyone knew what they were because they were in a bin. And then, I've been that I've been out for a while. Yeah, like, so. Yeah, grabbed those. And I'm sure these are at least 50, honestly. Wow, yeah. Um, Yeah, maybe more. Yeah, all the labels inside look in good yeah, shape. Yeah, they're in really good shape. Like, yeah, you can tell the footbeds don't have any like toe marks or anything. Muffies does get pretty gross, kind of like Birkenstocks. These yeah. probably retail for $300. I Jeez. might get like 70 or 80 bucks even. 
It's just that they're a size 42, which I think is a smaller men's size. Like a nine or six. Yeah, because women's, yeah. It's probably a nine. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah. So, okay. well, maybe not too bad. <laughs> be on the lookout for a Mephisto. Yeah, um, I would say it doesn't always sell super fast. I feel like the men's stuff does better than the women's, but I sold the red pair I found at the bins recently for like 30 or something, so. Yeah, follow it, I guess I would say. It depends. Awesome. Just check it out. Just check it out, guys. Check it out. While you're checking it out, make sure you hit the subscribe button. <laughs> You're done, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for this haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we appreciate you very much. And we'll see you guys. What? <laughs> I'm still thinking about the kill. <laughs> <laughs> she always, she's gonna I was trying to think of a joke to make it to end up. The She'll video. never let me, live, <laughs> let, let me live that one down. <laughs> so We're going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.